Folks, 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 if you listen carefully, you're going to hear the cavernous maw of social engineering once again widening to take in its newest sustenance, a school board in Fargo, North Dakota. Now, you may have heard of it. They've decided to end the recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance. And uh, the obvious reason, of course, is that the pledge includes the phrase, under God. I'm sure you're not surprised. One of the school board members, a guy named Seth Holden, had this to say about it, quote, given that the word God in the text of the Pledge of Allegiance is capitalized, the text is clearly referring to the Judeo-Christian God, and therefore it does not include any other faith such as Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and a, uh, all of which are practiced by our staff and students at Fargo Public Schools, end quote. Um, okay, so let's start with the fact that this guy is right. <laughs> I'm not steel manning his argument. I'm just saying he's right about that part. The God referred to in the Pledge of Allegiance is indeed the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And why? Because this country was founded by people who largely fit into the category of the Christian faith. Uh, partly at least, but more importantly, this country was founded by people who understood that we absolutely, positively had to have a set of morals and ethics binding the structure of a new nation, something which was resolute, steadfast, and unlikely to topple easily in the face of a myriad of challenges to its success. And they didn't just decide that intuitively. John Adams said our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate for the government of any other, to the government of any other. He said, you got to listen to the founding fathers when they speak. Now, if I understand uh, I, to, that so many of these people, for them, that's a bitter pill to swallow. You have a different faith or you're a person of no faith. I understand that you have a problem with that. But the simple fact of the matter is that John Adams was right. The framework of the society we've built in this nation is only able to keep it together if it is built atop the moral and religious foundation the founders put it on. That doesn't mean we don't have freedom of religion. Obviously, people are free to practice religion in whatever manner they choose or to abandon it entirely if that's what they want to do, as long as they aren't breaking the law. Now, right there, you have the encapsulation of the theme at point blank range. We have to have a system of laws. They need to be based on something. Imagine for a, just a second that you're the child of a military person and you were born overseas in Germany because that's where your parents were stationed. Suppose that you have full German citizenship in the bargain. Now, suppose that you, having grown up an English speaker in a country full of German speakers, suppose that you decide one day that you want everyone in Germany to stop speaking German because it makes you uncomfortable. Um, you know, everybody always spits when they talk and words are 500 letters long. Everybody sounds like Hitler, whatever. The point is, you'd be a moron to think that you were even right to try to accomplish that. Now, this country was founded on Judeo-Christian values. Simple, period. It just was. And a majority of the people in this country still identify as religious. They just do. It's a fact. That demographic may be shifting, but if so, I can tell you it's not a good shift. Not at all. Because Adams was right about this system being set up for a moral and religious people. And you would think that a town known only for a movie where a dude puts another dude in a wood chipper would understand something like that. But so it goes in Fargo, North Dakota. It's cold up there. I know that. Walk outside and fall in the frozen lake, and you're going to scream, God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> ah, but, you know, of course they're going to have a problem with that. Of course. Bill Maher. You ever paid, you paid attention to that, any of that show on HBO, Bill Maher's Politically yeah, Incorrect? Yeah, I, I never actually watched the show, but I see clips from it sometimes. It, yes, you see, you see the clips more and more. I found myself um, in recent months watching it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's funny. I don't know if it's Bill or his writers, but his writers, I mean, they're funny, and he's got a great delivery of it. And I, I can appreciate comedy even if I don't agree with somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, I always bring up Jim Jeffries. I think he's a funny Australian comedian. He's completely anti-gun. And his bits about it still make me laugh. Yeah.